Okay, so this video is a response to Be My Bro's video entitled Mother's Day in which he attempts to assert that Islam it puts women in a high regard. Let me start off by saying that Be My Bro will probably not approve this video response as most theists don't. But it doesn't really matter since I'm going to post a link to his video in the description box so you can tell him what you think of his video anyway. Okay, before we also begin, I want to also apologize for the quality of this video. The camera doesn't seem to want to put my lips in sync with my voice, so I apologize for that, but the content of the video is still going to be very, very good, so I highly encourage you to continue to watch despite that. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am so excited, you know, to, uh, on Sunday, it's Mother's Day. Alhamdulillah, that Allah gave us Islam. In Islam, every day is Mother's Day. Every day. Every day is Mother's Day. A man came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and told him, he asked him, who is, you know, who deserves my attention? Who has the right of my attention amongst people? In, uh, extra attention amongst people. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, your mother. Your mother uh, deserves four times the attention you give to your father and of course your mother and father deserve the attention the full attention of you anytime anytime your mother and your father your parents Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran he you know he said first Allah decreed that you worship only him then uh, straight after that and be good to your parents okay the prophet peace, peace be upon him said paradise is under the feet of mothers well that's interesting let's see what the Quran has to say about women surah 2 ayah 2 2 2 they question thee, O Muhammad, concerning menstruation. Say it is an illness, so let women alone at such times go not in, on into them until they have cl been cleansed. And when they have purified themselves, go, on in, go in unto them as Allah hath enjoined upon you. Truly Allah loveth those who turn unto him, and loveth those who care for cleanliness. <sighs> Chapter 2, verse 2228. Women who are divorced shall wait, keeping themselves apart three monthly courses, and that is not lawful for them, that they should conceal what Allah hath created in their wombs. If they are believers in Allah and in the last day, and their husbands who would do better to take them back in that case if they desi desire a reconciliation. And they, women, have rights similar to those of men over them in kindness and men are a degree above them Allah is mighty wise chapter 4 verse 11 Allah chargeth you concerning the provision for your children to the male the equivalent of a portion of two females and if there be women more than two then theirs is two-thirds of the inheritance and if there be one then half so basically a woman is to only inherit half of what a man does surah 4 ayah 24 and all married women are forbidden unto you except those captives whom your right hand possesses surah 4 34 men are in charge of women because Allah hath made the one of them to excel to uh, the other and because they spend their property for the support of women so good women are the obedient guarding in secret of which Allah hath guarded and those from whom ye fear rebellion admonish them and banish them to the, their beds apart and scourge them then if they obey you seek not a way against them lo Allah is ever high exalted great yeah right Surah 1178 And his people 
came unto him, running towards him, and before then they used to commit abominations. He said, O oh, my people, here are my daughters. They are pure for you. So basically, Lot is offering up his daughter for sex rather than the angels, who could probably defend themselves a lot better than the daughters. So 66, I have 5. And it may happen that his Lord, if he divorce you, will give him your steed wives better than you, submissive to a law, believing, pious, penitent, devout, inclined to fasting, widows and maids. This verse is basically telling Momo's wives that if they don't shut the hell up, that Allah is going to replace them with prettier ones. Yeah, I'm sure that was great for their self-esteem. So in conclusion, Islam is good for women so long as you consider women being inferior, inherently dirty to be good things. And not to mention that Surah 38, I 52, 55, I 71, and 44, 54 all portray women as prizes for men that are faithful to Allah. And let's not forget Surah 2, I 223, which says that a woman is to open her legs whenever her husband calls, except when she's on her period. So I've shown you at least 10 verses that are negative towards women, and I'm sure there are, in Hadith there are many more, much more. So in short, is Islam good for women? No, you lose. Try again.